Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and on this Woodsman Wednesday, I'm going to show you how to make and throw a bola. Stick around, maybe we'll learn something together. So I don't like to carry anything in my survival kit that isn't dual purpose. And one of the things I carry because to me it is dual, actually it's more than dual purpose, is some two ounce sinkers. Now normally I would not have these orange, I would leave them their natural color, but I painted these orange today because I want you to be able to see them on camera. One of the things I do with these, aside from the obvious, you know, sinker for my bank line, is I'll use these to make an improvised hunting weapon called a bola. First thing you have to do is take some of your trusty bank line and get about a complete arm spread of it, about your wingspan. So for me, it's that much. So you want to cut that. Then you want a piece that's about half that. So take your long piece that you cut, fold it in half, and that'll be your measurement for your next piece. So now you have two pieces of cord, one long and one about half that size. So now you're going to want to attach these to each other right there in the middle of the long one. So what I like to do, it's real easy, I'll just take it and fold it over on, on itself, find the center point, and then I'll just simply tie an overhand knot in it and form a loop. You want to make sure it's a loop that's not going to come out when being pulled on from the loop side. So the simplest way to do that with this type of thing is like this. Now I want to tie the shorter cord to it with a knot that I know isn't going to come undone. So as I tend to do, I go back to my handy dandy bowling. So now I have basically three pieces of cordage here. And I tie my sinkers to them. Again, using a bowling because I want a knot that I know isn't going to come undone. So here's what I have. I have these three weights attached to three interconnected strings. Now I'll show you how to throw it. You'll see a lot of people want to throw these by grabbing the string in the middle and just winging it around their head and letting it fly. You can just see already what one of the problems with that is. These strings like to tangle up. Now you could put your hands in between, your fingers in between the string and swing it around and throw it but when you do that again they want to tangle up and they all want to stay together you need them to spread out because the entire point of this is to give you this much area to catch something in so here's how I like to throw it I'll take one of the weights put it in my hand gather up the string until I reach the middle now when I whirl it around my head and let go, this weight will then fly out and that'll cause the entire thing to open up. Let me demonstrate on this uh, pavilion pole here. Again, place a weight, place a weight in your palm of your hand, gather up the string till you get to the middle, whirl it about your head and let fly. That's this weight going out should open everything up. See how that worked? Everything opened up, it caught on the pole and wrapped around it. One of the things I like about using these sinkers is while they're small and they don't really weigh a whole lot, it's six ounces altogether, you heard how it thumped when it hit the target. Because one of the effects of this isn't just the uh, the tangling, it's the thump. 
you can use uh, stuff that'll just tangle it, and that's fine. That's acceptable because, you know what, those little thumbs aren't going to take down a bigger game. Uh, the way you would take bigger game with this is to tangle up its legs and then close and kill it with a club or a knife. If you notice, when I, really, when I swung this, I just went once around my head and gone. You'll see a lot of people swing it around like this. Well, this is a hunting weapon. Do you think if you're swinging it around like this, the prey might uh, get a chance to see what you're doing and run? Yeah. So, you just want to bring it up and around once and let go. Like so. So that was my look at how to make and use a bola. If you like what you saw, please like, share, subscribe. Consider becoming a patron on my Patreon account. Every little bit helps me bring content like this to you. And as always, check in with the next Woodsman Wednesday. So maybe we'll learn something together.